Exactly, 10 after the R6 on the mighty Metro FM. It's Sports Night Amplified with Andy. I am Andy Lengube. Tibo Touch. He's gone for the day. He's back tomorrow. Eh? He put his cousin on blast, man. Eh? I must do that. You know, Fonela or Lady Jane, just put her on blast. Ah, mama. Unnige chicken and anis or lim soup. Just in here. Malcolm, what do you think? Yeah, I must put no on blast. I must do it. Welcome to the 10 of the R6 on the mighty Metro FM Sports that Amplified with Andy Le. Today, there are three things that we're going to be doing. A lot of you have a, a lot of questions about um, the SABC's acquisition of uh, the EPL rights. So we'll get into that. We're going to be speaking to General Manager at SABC Sport. I hope I've got her, 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 her title right. You know, just now I get fired because that's my boss. She's going to be coming on and just giving us a, a little bit more than what the statement gave us. A lot of you saying, yeah, we're going to be seeing a lot of... Uh, uh, Brighton versus uh, Wolves here. Eh? Aston Villa versus uh, Brighton type game, Southampton. I- is that the truth? But also, bear in mind, the SABC sport had these rights last season as well. Yes, we've been able to get them back again. And uh, so we'll, we'll give you a little bit more detail for those of you that uh, are interested in wanting to watch it uh, on the SABC. I know there's so many of you who are talking about it, who are a part of it. So we'll get into that detail there. Uh, and I'll give you a little bit of uh, that when we speak to uh, Kelly. So there from the SABC Sport to give a little bit more detail on the acquisition of the rights of uh, the Premier League, the English Premier League, or just known as the Premier League now. So we'll get into that. And then we're speaking to Mpoma Kola. Do you remember Mpoma came on the show? And uh, we're speaking to him and he was saying, hey man, I see what's happened at Cape Town City. Um, I've left there, you know, uh, my heart's not great, but nonetheless, I'm leaving and I'm going to go to Polokwane City and uh, they've asked me to come on. They've said, hey, uh, if you're able to qualify us, if you are able to get us there, and they did that. That whole team with Mpo in it is, of course, a, a senior man, a statesman, so to speak, qualified them for the EPL. For, for Listen to me, for the EPL. Uh, but rather, for the Premier League. The DSTV Premier League. That's what they're going to be playing. But I saw them in off-season. I saw them um, training. I saw everything that, at Bulugwana City. We're following them now because we want more details on the kind of team they're going to be in the DSTV Premiership. There's no Mpo Makola in the team. And I wondered how. Why would you do that? But why would you leave a team like that? So we're going to be speaking to Mpoma Kola today um, about uh, his situation, where he is, or maybe he's just uh, taking a long break and he'll be joining the team soon. We'll get into that. And then I said this on Touch the Show. Uh, I think it was yesterday evening or yesterday morning. When was it? Afternoonish. Afternoonish. Uh, I got a feel and a real life scene of the Kaiser Chiefs jersey. Hmm? see face to face, eye to eye, chief. Not my my barbari. Can you picture that alone? That's 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 Twitter just didn't clear. No, keep on in nine nine. So I'll tell you my thoughts. I'll give you a, an honest review of what I thought. But going into that, I must tell you, the Twitter pics, hey, they made me go ah, I guess so. Has my mind changed? I'll let you know. Welcome to the Sports that Amplified with Andy on the Mighty Metro FM. It's thirteen after the hour six. All the way till 7 o'clock at 18.45, we take your calls and I'd love to hear on all the topics discussed what it is that uh, you'd like to leave your comments on on uh, 86 WhatsApp on 60 16 after the hour 6 on the mighty Metro FM. Welcome to it at Sports Not Amplified with Andy. The three topics of discussion on today's show. Taking your calls and your voice notes, your opinions, your thoughts on 86 WhatsApp us on on 060-552-7303, taking those at exactly 1845. What an amazing conversation we had yesterday um, about tennis. Never in my life did I think on this platform we would do that. But it goes to say, you know, uh, we watch tennis, we enjoy tennis, and we understand it. Today, though, when I'm speaking to the SABC, um, Kelly Zotokhanyo is going to be coming on. We're going to be speaking to her about all things uh, uh, Premier League, the English Premier League, that is. And uh, we're going to be speaking about the Chiefs kit. Uh, for those that have seen, not, 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 not the fake ones and the ones that people, the, the mocks that they've done, no, the real ones. If you've seen it, let's have the conversation. I'll give you my views on uh, my thoughts as well. And uh, I think uh, as, as people unveil, and we can, we can throw in the Pirates kit in there as well. I mean, all I know from that is what I've seen and not what I've uh, touched and felt. So yeah, let's uh, have those conversations. Whoever it is that's unveiled the kit, if you want to speak about it, today is the time that we can do so. 
Mpo Makola is on the line and uh, he's awaiting our conversation. Mpo, welcome. Always great to have you. Thank you, Angile. Thank you for having me. And good evening to the listeners as well. You know, it, it broke my heart, Mpo, because in my introduction of you, I was going to say former Free State Stars, Orlando Pirates, Cape Town City, um, and Pulukwana City player. Then I remembered, I mean, uh, even if you look it up, you're no longer Pulukwana City player. But before we even go there, how are you? Um, I'm not going to say I'm 100%, but I'm I'm getting there. I'm just taking it one day at a time. But, yeah. Where is Mpumakola oh, uh, now? How where, where where are you? What are you doing? Are you at home? Are you training? Are you playing somewhere? Where is Mpumakola? I'm at home, uh, training by myself. Um, that's where I'm at right now, and just getting my fitness levels up there, and I'm looking for a new home because I'm clubless today. Before we go to why perhaps you're clubless and poor, let's talk about last season. The last time we spoke to you on this platform was to congratulate mm-hmm. you, of course, on winning the league. But before that was when you were moving to Polokwane City and I was saying to you, it means you're giving up on top flight football. You're going to, you know, the lower divisions to play there. It's become a very strong league in South Africa. It's become a very, um, a, a league that, that, that contends and it's exciting to watch and it's improved. Uh, we love mm-hmm. what's happened in that league. And you were saying, yeah, you know, you, you go in there, you're excited to go there. How did the rest of that stay in Polokwane go for you? Uh, I mean, going there and the first things first, uh, I was very skeptical, you know. And I remember a lot of people also were questioning my decision. Uh, but I like, like I said to you before, I think I I got a job that I needed to do there, and I felt it was possible for me to do it. And my stay there, I think it was very fruitful on my side. Um, I got to learn so much about the environment there, the football in the NFD. Uh, I met great human beings while I was at Polokwane City, so I think it was a great day overall. So the spirit in which they called you to go there, they asked you to go there, because I remember, I mean, for them it was like, you getting a player like Mpo, they asked you to go there. When you got there, that spirit was yeah. kept. You know, they, they, they respected you, they, they loved yeah. having you, and you felt that, and you gave to the team. And uh, your contribution to the team was met with the same enthusiasm as uh, how they had called you? Yeah, true. I mean, uh, they looked after me when I was there. Uh, they welcomed me with uh, open arms. Uh, for one, Bulim, the captain, he made sure I was comfortable. And But at the same time, I didn't really have much time to settle, you know. And I needed to get the ball rolling because there was eight games left in the league and we were chasing the championship. But apart from that, I think everyone that was there while I was there made everything easy for me. And uh, it was great being there. Statistically, um, Mpo, and I just want to paint a picture here. Yeah. Um, how was your season in terms of games played and uh, impact on the games according to what you feel and what, you know, obviously the conversations, you know, coaches speak to you after the game, you guys have team meetings. Yeah. What was their thoughts on your contribution? What do you think your contribution was and how big of an impact were you on the team in terms of uh, games played, etc.? Um. Uh, Obviously, like I said, when I came, there was only eight games left, right? And the team was there on the log. And when I got there, there was a lot of doubt. And I could sense and feel some players were actually on the verge of giving up, you know? And mm. I needed to to wake them up and let them know that it's possible, you know? With eight games left, two points behind the log leaders, anything in football is possible. And I needed to... Uh, make them understand, but by not telling them, by not talking, but by showing them. And that is me putting in the work at training, uh, in the games, behaving like a professional and showing them the way and leading. And I think my impact was was very important and it was fruitful because afterwards everybody came and was like, even the assistant coach and the coaches, everybody thanked me and they're like, you know what? It wouldn't have been possible if you and here, you and Joseph. Mm. But at the same time, I didn't do it alone, you know. We d- we did it as a team, you know. But I also played a role in it, and they did thank me for that. Yeah, because uh, I mean, I, I remember reading up on some of the things that uh, Coach Duncan Lechesa had said about your impact, um, um, Shongo uh, and Lucky Baloy as well. That uh, yeah. you guys had a huge impact in the team. Of the eight games, and how many did you play? 
I played all the eight games. How much time did you play in all the eight games? I'm trying to paint uh, a picture here. But for I those... started all the games. Yeah. So you started yeah, each started. one of the eight games that since at the time that you got there. Yeah, all the games. At the end of the season, you guys, you know, get the automatic qualification. You come into the DSTV mm. Premiership. What are some yeah. of the conversations then you have with the hierarchy at Bulukwana City? You know, I needed to be honest. I didn't really want to speak about what happened, uh, what we spoke about there. But prior to me signing the short-term contract with Polokon City, uh, the discussion with me and the chairman was that, should I help the team get promotion to the DSTV Premiership when I have a two-year contract waiting for me? And even three weeks into the preseason, because I started preseason with the team, uh, three weeks, two weeks into it, I was called into the office to say, the chairman has offered you the two-year contract that he promised, and but it didn't have, you know, any figures whatsoever. So I didn't want to find a blank page. And I said, can I see the chairman so we can discuss uh, this? Hold on, you know? hold on, hold on. So yeah. the promise, of course, was, hey, if yeah. you help us qualify, we're going to mm -hmm. obviously give you a nice contract uh, or a mm -hmm. contract uh, to yeah. play with us in the DSTV Premiership, which is something that you gave. You, that, that's one of the reasons why you wanted to qualify so badly with this team, because you wanted to play with them in the DSTV Premiership. So at the end of the season, it's preseason. They call you in and they say, yeah, it's fine. Uh, here's our promise. We're fulfilling it. Please sign. Here's your two-year contract. But they didn't put any numbers. By numbers, we mean what you'd no. be getting paid. Yes. Nothing like that. And I said, I'm not going to find anything. Like, no, man. There, there, there was no salary on it. You're signing a paper with no salary on it. Nope. No figures. Have you ever heard of something like that? No. Andile. With all, all your years in football, have you ever seen anything yeah. like that? No, it is the first time I've seen something like that. And when you asked to say, guys, I don't know yeah, I was told uh, the chairman said he will call you and meet up with you. And after you've signed the contract? No, I did not sign No, what I'm team. saying is, according to them, this would happen after you've signed the contract. According to them, yeah. <laughs> but after I said I'm not going to sign it, I got a message. Well, they told me that the chairman said he will call you and meet up with you. Uh, till this day, that never happened. The next time I was called in was when they were giving us our papers to be like, ah... Uh, Thank you so much for helping the team. We really appreciate your work, but from here, we're not moving forward with you guys. And the chairman has said, thank you. Not him, someone else, you know. And more than anything, Angela, I just, like I said to you, I'm not bitter, I'm not angry, and I'm, uh, I'm moving forward from this, you know. But more than anything, I'm just disappointed that he himself didn't come and speak to us like we spoke before I signed the pre the short term contract, you know? And I was just disappointed in that. Yeah. No, I'm uh, and we did reach out to Pulgona City's chairman, um, to say, Hey, please come on, we'd love to to, to get your point of view, we'd love to get your understanding as to what happened. I mean you know, um, he went from calling a player and uh, excited to have him on, qualifying with him, the promise that you'd kept. We, we did reach out to them and they said no. Um, they would rather not comment on this. I've never heard of such important. And then, of course, they just say to you, sorry, we're not renewing. And this is during preseason. Yeah. During preseason, played well, trained well with the team for three weeks. The first, like the first two weeks, I was offered the contract that I was promised, but it had no figures, no proposal whatsoever. The third week, we were given our papers. When you say we, it was you and uh, the other guys that, that were senior players Joseph. as well? Or just yeah, you and Joseph? And, yeah, me and Joseph. Uh, that's what happened. You know, and I know you're saying you're not bitter, but this has got to have left a bitter taste in your mouth at least. Uh, like I said, I was just disappointed. I wasn't expecting that uh, at that time also. You know, I was just looking forward to being back in a DSTV premiership, you know. And, and, you, and you earned it, Mpo. You earned it. Yeah. And, you know, I just kept telling people, you know, I'm going to end, end my career on a, on a high. And that's what I was working towards, you know. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't happen with Polo City. 
uh, but I'm just praying it happens with with the SUP membership team. You know, if you're talking about, because I, I can hear your mind is is wired around nearing the end here. I mean, you are 37 now. Are you starting to think of the end? Well, um, I've always thought ah, maybe I can go on for another two, one season or three. But people around me and everybody that has watched me for the past two, three seasons, all the same is, dude, you can go on for another three seasons, you know? Uh, but I just want to end on a high. Whether it's one, two uh, seasons, I'm so good to go. But I really would just want to end my career on a high because I feel like I wouldn't be doing justice to <clears throat> my legacy and my football career by just uh, allowing people to kick me out like that. You know. What does the future look like now? What's going on? Um, you know, you, your agents, whoever it is that represents you, or you guys in conversations with teams. I mean, right now is a rife time to be finding teams. Teams are looking. Teams are in preseason. It's a great time to be an inclusion into a team. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't have an agent, so I represent, I represent myself. And I made a couple of calls to people, to teams, and or well, some team will tell me about their budget and whatnot. And my thing is, maybe these teams feel like because of my name, uh, I could be wanting a lot of money, and that's not the issue with me. Right now, I just want to play football in the DSTV Premiership and uh, end my career on high, like I said. Is it, I mean, the last time we spoke, Paul, you didn't mind going to um, the Mutsipe Foundation Championship, and that's why you were able to go there. Is it still the same now, or now it's just Premier League or nothing? Right now, I, 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 don't, I don't think I want to go to the Mutsipe Foundation. Um, I would love to play in the DST Premiership. That's it. Like, don't even. Yeah. There's, you're not doing that again. You, you, you yeah. know, bitten. You are fine. Mm -hmm. You, yeah. you want to play where you feel you belong and where you feel you proved last year, even or last season, that yeah. you belong. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm dealing. Yes. Well, for those that uh, are interested, they have to call you directly. I can assume. Does that? But, but again, doesn't that hamper you a little bit when you don't have representation when you're trying to do it on your own? Isn't that um, you know spiting yourself? Well, I, you know, I've got I've got people that if I need help with anything that I don't understand or doesn't make sense to me, I can reach out to and be able to help me out in that department. I'm just uh, I just don't want teams to. I know it's difficult for teams right now to be paying. Uh, agent fees, especially for all the players. So I'm just making it a bit easier on my side for me to be able to get a team, you know. Do you, you say that teams think you're expensive, and Paul? Are you yeah. not? Uh, because, I mean, of course, you, you're a big name player. You've come with yeah. credentials. You've come, you know, with, with, with the... Yeah. And I wonder, you know, if you're saying to me they offered you a blank contract with no numbers on it, did, you know what I mean? It, there is that feeling. There is that thought. Are you yeah. just saying that, that, no, I'm not expensive? Are you that desperate where you're saying, hey, I'll take anything? Where where are you financially as far as your next contract is concerned? Well, obviously, I'm, really like, I'm not going to say, um, I just, like I said to you, I want to play football. I want to chase up for the money. I mean, at my age, who's still looking to make money? You know, I've made a lot of money now in football at my age, so I just want to play football right now. You know, but also at the same time, I don't want to be exploited. You know, mm, mm, that's important. Yeah. yeah. Well, I wish you the very best of luck. Um, you know, uh, we know there's every single team in this country listens to the show, and I know, you know, uh, those that are interested will make that call. But we appreciate you, and uh, yeah, man, uh, I don't know what to say to you. You were so excited, and I, I thought the next time we have a conversation. It's going to be us welcoming you back to the DSTV Premiership with the team that you qualified with. But unfortunately, that's not how that ball went. But uh, mm -hmm. thank you so much. You're keeping fit, you're training. Um, and hopefully, you know, uh, before the season begins, we're going to be welcoming you to a team. Yeah. Thank you, Andina. Uh, thank you for having me on the show. And thank you to the listeners. And thank you for your endless support as well and for the words of encouragement. And I'll do my best to keep fit and hopefully something comes up. 
An astute professional, I can tell you that now, on his own or with the team, uh, a man who is great for the change room as well, his energy in the change room as a senior player. Um, yeah, but unfortunately, just because you're those things doesn't mean that things are always going to go your way. It's 1833 on the Mighty Metro FM. Kaiser the Chiefs kit. Hey, I had it in my hands, man. I know a lot of you right now, eh, in Konsamat. I had it in my hands, man. 1835 on the mighty Metro FM. Listen, all of those that are in Johannesburg town at the moment, um, I hope uh, you're all keeping safe. Uh, news just got to us, of course, of uh, what just happened uh, downtown in Johannesburg. I wish uh, everybody to be safe, please. Uh, uh, travel with caution. I'm pretty sure at top of the hour, 7 o'clock, that uh, Faith will be talking about it. Uh, but I can see on social media and everywhere uh, the, the, the videos and uh, you know the, the the incident that happened out at Bree Street in Johannesburg. Please, Sengkel, be safe. Be safe and tell everybody that's around there to avoid that area uh, for the moment. But I'm pretty sure seven o'clock top of the hour, you'll be getting more details on what's happened there. And um, you know, uh, w w with the major accidents that we've had off late, uh, I hope we don't have major um, fatalities from that. Actually, even any fatalities from that. Our parents are going home at this time. They packed in taxis. They come from a hard day's work. This is the last thing any of us need to be going through. Children coming from school. It's 1836 on the Mighty Metro FM. This is Sports and Amplified with Andy Le. My boss here at the SABC, General Manager, Gileza Totlanyo, is going to be speaking to us now about uh, the acquisition of the rights to show the Premier League, the English Premier League. I know it's just the Premier League now, but with the with our league being the Premier League as well, we always like to just say the English Premier League in order to distinguish between the two. But it's the Premier League uh, English football that is going to be on the SABC. Gilletto, thank you so much for joining us and welcome to Sports Not Amplified with Angela for the very first time, in fact. <laughs> but I've been in studio for a few few times, eh? You pop Pretty in, been... definitely, but on the air, it's good to, it's good to have you. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How about you? Good evening, Angela, and good evening to your listeners. And thanks for having me. Well, I'm excited that, uh, you know, people in general, I saw social media from the calls I'm getting from, you know, the conversations that have been had. People are excited that the SABC, the original right holders, of course, of the Premier League, we, we all grew up watching it uh, in, in international football on, on the SABC and SABC Sport. And it's become that again. The announcement was made today. We are going to be once again showcasing, showing, giving games from the Premier League. Tell us a little bit more detail about uh, what these rights have in them. What is it that we're getting? No, thank you so much for, for the opportunity, Andile. Yeah, SABC acquired the EPL uh, to air rights package, which um, entails 33 matches. So we will be showing 33 matches on SABC 3 every Saturday, and that's the free-to-air free package that we've acquired from um, Gemini together with in France Sport. Let's get to it. So three matches a weekend, three matches over a month. 33 matches. 33, 33 matches, matches over, over, over the, the season. season. Okay, 33 yes, yeah. matches yeah. over the season. What does yeah. that mean for viewing Is uh, in terms of how you then uh, uh, distribute the games on television? So it means they will be able to watch the English Premier League match on a Saturday afternoon on SABC3, only on Saturdays. We, we, the, the package is only a Saturday afternoon. The three in, 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 in summer, it will be a 3 p.m. kickoff. In winter, it's a 1600 kickoff, and that will be on SABC3. Um, and, yeah, it will be from the 12th of August until the end of the season. Is this a li are these live matches? Or are we going to be showing matches from the previous day? Or are we going to be showing matches from earlier in the day? Is this a live match? <laughs> these, these are the that questions because, that are being asked. Is that, is that because you think you always rebroadcast delayed broadcast? I, I don't no, know no, no. why we I still get the tag like... of delayed because <laughs> that hasn't been the case in a very long time. I know, hey. No, it will definitely be a live match. Uh, we'll have a build-up uh, before the match, and then we'll broadcast the live the match live on SABC3, like I mentioned. And we are starting with the broadcast from the 12th of August, and we will run these matches until the end of the season. And actually, this contract is over the two seasons. So it's this coming season, and it will end the next season, which is 24-25 season. 
And are we getting a full studio analysis uh, for this as well? Are we getting guys in studio, girls in studio telling us about the games, giving us expert opinions on the games? Or is this just a you know, game, halftime, we go somewhere else and we come back? Is it the full package as far as what the SABC is then going to be packaging it? Now it definitely will have the studio uh, presenters and analysts and we'll, it will be our, our own people in South Africa, our own former players that have applied their trades in, 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 in the UK. We will wow. be using our local talent. And yeah, we'll, we'll dissect and, and talk about the match, build up to the match. Halftime, we'll still be able to analyze. And at the end of the match, we will be talking more about the highlights. And we do have the highlights packages, which is the um, preview and the review uh, shows that will also be broadcasting. But it's definitely the, the, the 33 live matches on SABC3. And then the biggest question was the quality of the games, the quality of uh, the matches we're going to be taking, Kelly. And my response to it was, and I'll let you have yours perhaps, was last season, I remember we gave the Manchester United Wolves game. As a United fan, that's where I watched it. Chelsea Newcastle was on. We gave Liverpool, Aston Villa, Arsenal, Leeds, Man City, Everton in December. We gave all those games. Is this what quality of games are we going to be giving? As per all the international um, uh, rights, I mean, even with the FIFA World Cup, there's a free-to-air and pay TV rights. So with the free-to-air packages, their rights holders do package the football matches according to how they, they want to, to sell the package, and they make sure that they balance these matches. It won't be just the, 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 the teams that are occupying the bottom of the lock. They will make sure that they schedule all those matches that they want people to be able to, to watch. Uh, remember, the, main, the most important thing for them is the viewership. So they want to make sure that they give um, the viewers an entertaining, entertaining game. It's the same Can I, let me pause you come. for two seconds, sorry. The SABC making uh, an, a statement uh, and uh, one that uh, rang true to so many of you that enjoy watching SABC Sport and wanted to see the world's most famous league on SABC Sport. The Premier League, the English uh, Premier League, that is, is going to be on SABC 3. 33 matches through the season. The question I just posed to general manager of the SABC, SABC Sport, in fact, Kele Sotoklanyo, was around... Uh, which games are we going to be showing? And I can tell you that last season we did show, you know, Man City, Man United, Liverpool was on, Newcastle was on, Chelsea, Arsenal, all those games were shown on the SABC. Are we in for a treat of the same this season? Kelly, terribly sorry. I had to pay the bills and I had to catch you there for a second. But you're still saying? I totally understand. You need the money, don't we? <laughs> so, yes, as I was saying, um, you know, for free-to-air packages, the rights holders, like across the world, including the PSL, what they do is they make sure that they package their rights in such a way that the most important games, the free-to-air people are able to access those important matches. So they make sure that they give us entertaining uh, games. They make sure that they, 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 they schedule matches that will draw viewers because what's important for them is to have those people, those numbers watching the football matches on, on our screen. So we definitely are in for a good treat. We will be seeing all the important matches of the English Premier League. And it's the same with the FIFA World Cup. I mean, like we are starting with the FIFA World Cup broadcast tomorrow, Women's World Cup tomorrow. The matches that are selected, um, it's it's cream than a cream of the tournament. So they make sure that when they do their free-to-air packages, it serves the, the, the public. Kelly, thank you so much. We really do appreciate it. We can't wait for the season to begin um, uh, to see all the matches, of course, live as far as uh, our league uh, here in South Africa, the DSU Premiership, as well as uh, we've got Sinong. Apparently, Kelly, if you can just uh, stay with me on the line for two seconds. We've got Sinong out in Pretoria that Timmy's... Uh, uh, insisting that we take, apparently he's been calling all morning uh, to speak about this. Sinong, thank you so much for joining us. I've got the general manager of SABC Sport, uh, Kele Tsototlanyo, on the line. What is it that you want to know about the rights? Okay, um, I, I wanted to ask, but I think uh, she have responded to me. I wanted to ask if the game will be of category A or B or C. I think she covered that. But uh, another question is, uh, why take it three games? So, uh, is it because of budget? Or what? And also when we come home, and uh, I want to ask why uh, are we not getting cut all category A games or category B games, <laughs> such as maybe Mandalorian Sundowns versus uh, Orlando Pirates or 
my middle east son that was his kids that he's is this now oh so you mean you mean you mean here at home now you're changing to say here at home yeah. Okay, yes, I hadn't yes. prepared her for this conversation, but uh, I'm hoping if Kele can, I mean, otherwise then we should, before the beginning of the season, have her come here so we can explain SABC's uh, position and, you know, uh, strategy when it comes to, to that as well. But Kele, I'm going to give you the opportunity to, to answer for yourself. Okay, let me try and respond for a while, 33 matches. Uh, it is the package, the free-to-air package that EPL is sending across the, the world. It's not just the SABC it's across the world where they are sending 33 um, uh, matches for free-to-air packages because obviously with pay TV, it's, they have to get all the, uh, the, the most of the matches because of the amount of money that they invest in towards towards the the the, 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 the tournament or the, the the league. So that package, it's what is available and normally there's a tender uh, that goes out and you have to bid for free-to-air or pay TV and that's what was bidded for the free to a and this is the package that uh, that, that we, we got i'll tell you and what Kayla, as far as as far as far as our league is concerned what i'd like to do is closer to to to, to you know to us kicking off the new season perhaps mm-hmm. uh, have a representation from sabc sport come talk to the people about uh, what it is that we're going to be doing what are we going to be showing why are we going to be showing what we're showing and i think we'll have a better conversation than just answering one question if uh, you, you'd spare me the time closer to that we'll we'll look at your diary and see if you can come in on one wednesday that would be lovely. All right, uh, let's go to Sia now. Sia is out in Whitbank. Sia wants to talk about the rights as well. Sia, welcome to the show. India, how is, Andrew, how are you, my brother? Yeah, very good, man. I've got uh, SABC Sport uh, General Manager. What do you want to know? No, I want to uh, give SABC a big up on our crying those rights of the 32 games, man. It's, it's very big for people who don't have, who can't afford uh, pay, to, uh, pay TV and stuff like that. So mm. I think SABC is, is taking a huge bound. In ensuring that everyone gets to uh, view, uh, view the beautiful game, you know. Oh, see, yeah, I appreciate and it. Thank you so much, man. Yeah. to say about the Chief Jersey and you know, like you know, as long as Bobby and the Glazers are in charge of many United Chiefs, we are buying nothing, man. man. We are striking. <laughs> we are, we are but wait, wait for my review. I said I'll give you a review. I'll give it to you. Uh, yeah, give me, give me five That's minutes. Why, I mean. Give me five minutes here. Let's go to Spongelini out in Kezere and also wants to talk about the rights. Uh, the last one before we can talk about all the other things, I do have to let Kele go. I hijacked her, uh, called her just after six to have this conversation. Uh, Spongelini. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> Ma'a. Talk to me. Here's Kele. Uh, Ma'a, I want to first uh, thank SAPC Sports compared to Gibongi no EPL. I think uh, it's a good idea because in the city, I am as a band to him seven illegal. So, I am a channel now. I am a SBS Bugle Boni Pola. I am a bit to a So, I think SAPC in front to when they intend to ever call on it. Oh, I thank you so much and I appreciate you. We appreciate that. Thank yeah, you so much. Thank you for the support, Kelly. Uh, we'll set that date. Thank you so much for coming through. We appreciate your time. No, thank you so much, Andrew, and I'll see you in two weeks' time. Thank you so much. Uh, two weeks' time, she'll be here, and we'll have that conversation. Timmy, the, the boss said her own time. Nagite will speak about Enar in two weeks' time. So in two weeks, uh, Wednesday, let's have her on, and whoever it is uh, from the SABC and our hierarchy that can answer questions as far as what we're doing. Let's be transparent. Let's tell the people uh, what we're going to be doing. Let's do that. Taking your calls right now, 086-000-2160. You heard our conversation with Mpamakola. You heard our conversation with the general manager. Now, the last conversation is the one I promised you. I had an opportunity to touch, feel, put it on even, the Kaiser Chiefs jersey. My biggest worry was for a team of the stature of Kaiser Chiefs. You know, Kaiser Chiefs for, very, for, 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 for decades in this country and maybe even on, on, on in Southern Africa, if not the continent, have been leading in everything from kid to player to so i was like hey are we going to see a, a, a watered down version of of the standards and qualities of our course guys listen you know equality i asked my cock what i know at least what i know i can tell you now that i enjoyed wearing that kit no it felt nice it felt nice to touch it felt nice on the body i know it felt nice i mean the one design was not for me but I can see people loving it. I can see people loving it. For the first time to me, I think uh, uh, 
<laughs> Toza Mafiti, I enjoyed it. Uh, that, that, that's my honest opinion of what I think. And you know, uh, if I didn't think so, I wouldn't say so. Let's take your calls. Uh, but perhaps your voice notes for it's Malcolm. Let's start with the voice notes and then we'll take the calls. Hi, Angela and the sports team. Lindy and Lee here. Um, listen, man, just a suggestion. Since it's a sports show, I know it is soccer dominated, but in the past few weeks, we also went into basketball, tried to understand it, and now I think we are about trying to understand tennis. So I'm suggesting how's about uh, since we are going uh, to Netball World Cup, uh, I think we left about nine days. Can we or are we going to be covering that? And uh, yeah, man, and here are one of the masses saying and what they think and if they actually do watch it and do they even understand Netball or yeah, it's just one of those sports. Yeah, like I said, it's just a suggestion. Yeah, listen, man, we, we, we've been covering netball as well. I mean, we spoke to them uh, just, uh, when was it, uh, last week, uh, you know, speaking about the ticket prices, speaking about what's happening within uh, Netball South Africa as well. We've been highlighting and uh, um, giving a platform to some of the players as well. But I think you're right. Uh, maybe we could do more, uh, especially since, you know, it's a fortnight away. But also we had Banyana Banyana. I mean, the World Cup kicks off uh, tomorrow. The World Cup kicks off tomorrow. Don't forget that. So that's why tomorrow is going to be dedicated to that as well. So, yeah. Uh, we, 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 we multifaceted beings and I, I love the way you stretch me in terms of uh, different sporting codes. So I appreciate that. Evening, Miss Andilia. Yes, Bashan, hey, Bashan. from Duval. Yeah, I just want to add uh, on, on the, the, the patriotism tip words. Yeah, as African, we have to be united, especially now in the World Cup. We have to support each other. Yeah. Uh, Coming to to Pomogol, I don't think in football there's loyalty. Yeah, he have to dust himself and look for another team to play for. So, yeah, that's football. I remember at some stage, uh, uh, coach uh, Sean Bartlett took uh, arrows to to Premiership, but he was pushed away. Yeah, that's football for you. Big up, Sean. Hello, hello, Andile. It's Gunan Malumi Mukopani. It's so sad to hear the story of Mpomakola, and I realized it is only, it's not only Mpomakola, it's also the guy called Mklongo. How can they give you a contract which has no figures? Mm. I feel like Bulgarian City has used these people so much, but it will come back to bite them at the end of the day. I just hope and pray they will prove me wrong and not go back to, to an FD at the end of the season. I appreciate it. Let's take your calls now. Uh, I've got a good five minutes here. Uh, we did take some earlier. Peter, uh, is it Peter? Peter. Yes, yes, Andy. Hey, talk to me, man. Yes, man, man. I'm very sad about uh, what happened to Pomakula, you know. Uh, Can you believe I it? Oh, but it's, it's something that I don't even understand because he he signed a short c- c- contract with them. Mm-hmm. And then at the, end, at the end of the day, they want to give him contract without any money they don't talk about payment they don't talk about anything and turns away sign you have to sign it and ah, never even i wouldn't but, do it yeah no no we can't yeah no peter i feel you and uh you could hear in his voice that you know he says he's fine but you could hear no his, his moral and it's so down it's so down 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 down, down. Hmm. no I'm peter. It's, yeah. yeah it's part of it's part of, maybe he'll find you maybe Steve compiler is listening you can give him contract maybe I mean, he'd be, he'd be a valuable member of that Swallows team, wouldn't he? Yes. Oh, Peter, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Let's go to Oliswa um, out uh, in Johannesburg. Oliswa. Okay, Oliswa is gone. So let's go. Uh, where are we going now? West? West in Tabisa? Okay, Timmy, I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, we'll get uh, and put West on with Oliswa. Uh, Tapo, I see you on the line, but uh, the lines aren't agreeing with us. So we will be taking. Oh, there we go. Let's try another one there, Timmy. Our line's not great. Faith, I hear you. Hi. West? Hi, Mr. President. How are you? Hey, West. <laughs> Hi, man. Uh, long time. Uh, Andy, look, you know, it's a, it's a sad story, man. Um, Pomagola story. It's, it's very sad. I mean, but uh, it's. Is the way South African team managers run run the business. I mean, they run it like they're running a spaza shop at the corner. They, 
and yeah, I mean, it's very disturbing. I mean, but imagine, imagine uh, uh, when I'm not sure what you do for a living, but whatever it is that you do, you a contract, and then I say I retire work out for Fabokai. Andile, that that one thing they think all those people they you know it's it's charity, it's charity what they do, or they doing their employees favor, but. Uh, I mean, I'm a, I'm a team owner myself, uh, mm. so I, I, I know how it works. Even if it, I'm playing at the ground root uh, uh, level, I know I know what I expect from my players, and I also know the value they they hold. You know, uh, in terms of uh, uh, in terms of uh, paying them back or giving them whatever stipend that they they deserve. You know. But yeah, I, I think that can change, and 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 yeah, they run, they run this soccer business better. I and hope, I hope, well. I hope that one day when you have grown your ownership and now you're playing in better leagues, we don't have these conversations about you uh, as well. So uh, I hope that you're we'll, learning from this. But we'll have that conversation because we'll, I wish that you get there. We'll definitely have better conversation. I appreciate it, Wes. Let's go to Tepo, and uh, I want Faith to come in now. So we can uh, touch on one or two things uh, with what's going on. Uh, Tepo. Hey, Lepara, how's it? Hey, no, Lepara, Joe. Talk to me. Thank you, Khurtmanak. Well, Namaha. I'm going to respect them that during the tenure, we went to Studio Amstria from Sheba. But then I think you are going to go, but I'm going to just accept the Khurtmanak. I'm going to go to my own dad. Because of the other teams, they don't have to go to my only for 12 months. They weren't even paying him enough. So that will be disrespectful. Marasepo, yeah. what, what, what is that opinion or that thinking or that thought of yours based on? We watched him last season. He helped a team qualify for the Premier League. He played and started in every match. If that was the case, then they wouldn't have done that. They wouldn't have offered him two extra years if his I legs understand. were gone. I understand the source of alarm, but then we're talking about PSL, Honano. When long for now, the 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 one the 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 teams know the, they've got a lot to lose, hmm. and then now you're having the youngsters that are coming left, right, and centre. By long for about they are at the same position as here now. Like Mama Ababu or even a good dancer, no one to leave the stage. We still respect Mugura. We always honour and respect him. And born. Uh, we don't want to boom Tomo Kuwaucha and Makula when he has done a lot for football or no majority. So I think he just have to accept and then add other things around football. I appreciate you. Thank you so much uh, for coming on. Uh, I mean, uh, and uh, sharing your opinions. Be safe. I'm happy that no casualties have been reported. And uh, let's all pray that it stays like that. I'll see you on Sport at 10 this evening, SABC 1, 10 o'clock. Pera, pera. And so me.